time again, once again, to do this quick uh, sit down lesson, man. Just on, you know, the faithfulness of the Lord. But first, before I do that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 144,000 elect men. Uh, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the items that's doing this work around the globe of truth and sincerity. I'm going to dive right into it, man. Uh, this uh, uh, First Timothy 4, and I'm going to start at 9. This is a faithful sign and worthy of all exception. <clears throat> For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach. Because in this truth, man, we're going to get, you know, uh, humiliated, you know, uh, you know we're going to get talked about, we're going to get uh, murmured about, we're going to get scoffed at, you know, but we got to understand that, you know, all these things that's taking place, uh, that we following in the steps of our big brother, Yahweh Shah, man, that. You know, just think about it in these times that everything that he did, uh, everything that's happening to us, it happened to him a hundred times worse. So, you know, be, you know, be, be grateful for the affliction you're receiving right now, man, because, you know, it shows your, uh, it shows your integrity towards, uh, just, you know, just, uh, towards this truth, man. You know, this is how you earn your points with the Most High God, man. Being, you know, being looked at as a fool. You know what I'm saying? For this, for this truth, man. You know, but you know, you gotta just remain on your square. You know, don't let these scoffers, uh, these two thirds, you know, these other nations, you know, the elements, the conditions we in, push you off your square, man. It says, because we trust in the living power, who is the savior of all men. Because there's only one way to be saved, man. And it's one name under the heavens that we could be saved by, man. It ain't no Yahiah, Ayah, Ayah, Ayah. It ain't no Christ. It ain't no. Whatever you want to call him, man, it's one name. It's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. And that's the only that's the only way you can be saved, man. Matter of fact, let me pull that out. Whereby you must be saved. This Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And man, that's to the point. Let me get into all that breakdown. Let me show you this and all that for these old unbelieving ass niggas. Paul said, be not ye unequally yoked, man. With those who are unbelievers. Fuck them, man. Let the unjust be unjust still. That's to the point, man. It says, especially of those that believe. This, let's get those who believe. This John 7 and 38. It says, he that believeth on me, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, as the scripture has said, according to the accounts in the scriptures, not all where I believe, you know, my personal belief in this scripture tell you, look, ain't no, and Peter, ain't no private interpretation, man. 
the Father spoke to these men and put the spirit of these men, the, the, the spirit of him on these men, man, as they was, as they <clears throat> was writing this word down, man. Ain't no private interpretation of this shit. So anybody who out here saying how they feel, fuck how you feel. It's about Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot his word. Like the Father say, my word going before my name, man. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow the rivers of living water. That's where life comes from, man. Say, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, man. Water is, the water is compared to with knowledge, man. The water is, is, your, is, your, is your spiritual is you is, is you is, is you what spring forth your spirit man shit it says especially of those that believe these things command and teach man teach these things man the water is the word man it renews you Matter of fact, let me get that man. Let me pull that. This Psalms 51 and 10, it says, Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me, man. You know, and this water, this water, which is this word, when you get this word up in you, man, like it says, how, how then can a young man cleanse his way? Let me grab that. Stand Psalms, Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word, man. That's how you cleanse your way. This word is this water, man. It's the renewing of your mind, man. So these are the things that command and teach. It says. Let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word. And what is the word, man? The word, this Isaiah 40 and 8. It says, the grass withereth, the flower faded. But the word of the law of, of, of Yahweh shall stand forever, man. Like they said, the scripture said, the word that I speak unto you is light, man. These words, these scriptures, these strolls, this is what keeps your faith and builds your faith. Romans, uh, maybe 10 and 18 or something like that. I, uh, don't quote me on that, but it says, Faith coming by hearing and hearing of the word, man. This word. That's what you got to um, march by, man. And stay in tune and take with, man. The Lord's word, man. It says... 
and word and conversation. Let's get that conversation. This is Ephesians 4 and 29. It says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, man. Let your conversations be, you know, let your yeas be yeas and your nays be nays, man. Let your conversation be. Be of good use to edifying, which is building the brothers up, like sit-down videos or when you're out there on the, on the hedges and the highways, man. Let this be motivation to those, man, who seek the Lord diligently, man. And teach the, the Lord word and truth and sincerity, man. Man, lives on the fucking, is on a, uh, is on a risk. It's, I mean, uh, man, lives is at stake, man. When you make sure you stand or speak before the Lord, man, speak before the Lord in righteousness and truth, man, the Father gonna bust you fucking down. Be a fucking man, man. A man stand on his two feet, man, and he righteous. He be just. He justified in his righteousness, man. It says, but that which is, let no, I'm read it again. It's a lot, God. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, man. Build these young men minds up, man. Even these elderly, man. You ain't never too old to fucking learn something new, man. Let this word be music to the ears of those. Let this be the, the melody. To those who need to hear this word and co to continue in righteousness, man. Instead of striving for, for the ultimate goal. And it says, in charity, man. In charity, let's get that charity, man. What charity is, man. Go and correct this, man. First Corinthians 13 and 2. It says, And do I have the gift of prophecy? Because, like it also said, Corinthians, man, um, um, <clears throat> of all these, man, chari char charity. I'm going to pull that. I'm going to pull that after I finish. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing, man. Because out of all this you're doing, man, you got to have love. And what you're doing, man, charity is love, man. Y'all yeah, wish I laid this life down for us, man. That was through love, through charity, man, because he didn't have to do that. You got to have a love for this truth, man, to go all out, man. And have not charity, I mean, not just saying if I got the gift of prophecy, I can prophesy. Understand all mysteries, dark sayings, man. Break down scriptures and deep, deep sayings, man, deep, dark sayings of the Lord. And all knowledge. Be all knowing, man. Extremely knowledgeable, man. And by the way, you motherfucking Israelites thinking you y'all glory and justified in y'all knowledge. You can have all the fucking knowledge in the world. But if you're lacking faith, your good is dead. So that I can remove mountains, man. You got the faith to remove mountains, man. Faith is a gift of the Lord, man. And I'm going to get into that next, that faith. So that I can remove mouths, I have not charity, I am nothing. So why would Paul say I'm nothing if I got all this, man? But don't have no love. You got to be, 
You got to have a love for what you're doing, man. This can't be some buy and buy shit. Oh, I just, you know, do it. In, yeah, oh, bus stop as Israelites. You know, get on here and then two blocks get off, man. Fuck your bus stop as Israelites. Oh, loveless ass, wanna be ass Israelites, man. I ain't gonna go too far, something, though. It says, in charity and in spirit. Uh, it says in spirit, man. That's a lot, guy. Let's get that. See what the spirit do. It's John 6 and 63. It says, it is the spirit that quickened it, man. The flesh profited nothing, man. It's all about your spirit, man. The Father made the spirits perfect, man. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. You get life through your spirit. Your flesh is dead. Your flesh is darkness, man. Your spirit is what brings that water, that life, man. Your spirit and your flesh is, a, is in a constant battle, man. You got to be spiritual minded with all things, man. In fact, let me get that. First Corinthians. 12 and 2 and 15. I'm going to read 14. Come. It says, But the natural man receiving not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So the natural man, which is the flesh, is not spiritually discerned, man. They can't judge correctly, man, because most likely, uh, like the brother at the camp today, man, we, 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 we can't discern things naturally, man, because in the flesh, <clears throat> we emotional. And when you emotional, it clouds your judgment. And when something clouds your judgment, that means you can't, you can't, you judge incorrectly, man. You got to be a great judge, man, able to discern right from wrong, good from evil, man. We going to be judges, man. We, we're going through this to be great judges. We are the judge nations. You got to learn how to discern, man, be a discerner. It says, but well, he that is spiritual, Judge all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man, man. He that is spiritual judges all things, man. You got to judge all things spiritual. It says, in faith, of course, faith, Faith is faith is I'm gonna get Romans one and seven. Romans one and seven. See what's up with this faith. It says Faith, uh, oh, shit, oh, 11 and 7, go back. It's a lot, guy. Uh, now I see. It's a lot, guy. Let me grab this.
this Hebrews. Eleven and six. It says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligent, 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 diligently select him. Seek him, man. So without faith, it's impossible to please the most high, man. You gotta have faith, man. And impurity. Impurity, man. You got to be pure to this. This title is 1 and 15. It says, Unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. So the father with the lot of most death is saying, Look, man. If you're not pure in this thing, man, genuinely grounded, spiritually grounded in this thing, man, you're not pure. All your mind, your desires is, is whatever you, your conscience towards this thing is defiled, man. And you know anything that is defiled is abomination to the most high, man. It says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhaustion, and to doctrine, man. This set, to, this, just to edify that, so like this, 2 Timothy 3 and 16, it says, all scriptures is given by inspiration of Yahweh and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instructions in righteousness, man. So these scriptures is not just your Joe Blow, man. This the guidance of your life, man. This is your pride, this is your integrity, this is your everything, man. You got to really sacrifice, man, and hold this name them, man. Treasure this, man. Understanding what these scriptures are for in these strolls, man. It's your guidance, man. This is your life, man. It says, give attendance to reading, to exaltation, and to doctrine, man. This 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, man. Okay, neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy, man. This John 3 and 27. It says, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except it be given him from the heavens, man. So it's ever Whatever it is the Father gave to you in prophecy, basically, you know, before you even manifest in the, in the flesh, man, the Father already uh, ordained you, uh, already fashioned your spirit, man. Like he told Jeremiah, I formed, before I formed thee, I knew thee. I already put it in your spirit to be ordained a prophet to the nations, man. A man can't receive anything unless, except it be given him from the heavens, man. The most high got to deposit whatever it is in your spirits, man. Niggas better stop running away with their gifts, thinking it's of them, man. That they did it. That they read and built up and studied and done all this, man. It's, it's still of the most high, no matter how much work you put in, man. It says... Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly unto them, man, that the profiting may appear to all, that every man may see your manifestation in this truth, man. 
It says meditate upon these things, man. This Joshua 1 and 8. It says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Day and night, man. You know what that means? All the fucking time, man. Or whenever you have the opportunity, man. Ain't no excuses for this. Push this fucking word, all right? It says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. All don't mean 90%. All don't mean 13%. All don't mean, oh, well, I believe in everything else, but his, but his name, can, you can call his name whatever you want, man. That's been half fucking way, man. That's a fucking cake that you only baked on one side, man. It says, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success, man. When you meditate on these things day in and day out, man, you know what I'm saying? That means eat. Shit, breathe this shit, man. Breathe, eat it, shit it out, and eat it back up, man. Recycle, man. Constantly let this flow like a phone, man. Let it flow out, drink it back up, let it flow out like that, man. Let this word, this word spring forth to you like a uh like a like a a, a a brook a brook river like a salad yeah you know let it spray forth like a a, a a a river man a flowing waters man this word come out you know back and forth into you like that man let this word be a revolving door a river of righteousness man it says Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctor, man. Believe upon the word, man. Take heed to this, man. Continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee, man. And I'm going to grab one more for this Ecclesiastes. Nine and eight, man. It says, Let thy garments be always white, man. What? Pure, man. And let thy head lack no ointment. Let your garments be always white, man. And let the head like no ointment, man. No, stay grounded in this thing, man. Don't fall back. Don't be looking back, man. Everything is in front of you right now, man. Your crown is right in front of you. We at the end of this thing, man. Uh, they they just had a fucking freeze, you know, up there on the East Coast, man. A father took no time with. Putting fucking people to death, man, in this new year, man. So-called new year, man. So, you know, with that, hope that was edifying that one more time, man. To all the actors that's pushing this work and that's listening, man. Let thy garments always be white, man. Always have your garment on, man. Wear this word on your sleeve, man. Wear your faith on your sleeve. Your righteousness on your sleeve. Let everybody see this, man. Because your garment is what show forth off you, man, before the word come out, man. So let that garment always be white. Let it be pure, man. Let it be in truth and sincerity and honesty, man. And honor of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And let that head like no ointment, man. Don't slow up in this thing, man. Keep pushing, man. Keep having faith, believing, and trusting. In these scriptures, man, and it's true. 
Like he said, thou shalt know the truth, and the truth shall set thou free. So with that, I hope that was edifying, you know, to the Akims that's out here listening to the brother, man. And with that, um, give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh, Shavu, Rock, and Thai. Uh, 144,000 elect men to the to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and the Akims that's pushing this work, man. Keep pushing out. Shalom.